I have never been a fan of Led Zeppelin. Actually, the only two songs I know by them are Kashmir and Stairway to Heaven. Just happens that recently I rediscovered Stairway to Heaven and as I see the album where it comes from, it's kind of legendary. So why not recording my first reaction to it? Wait. Oh, hell yeah, I know it! Oh my god, I can't believe I wasn't aware of this. Holy hell, man. Oh my god. Oh my god. I listen to those lyrics, but I'm all pumped up right now. Just Oh yeah, indeed. Oh my god! I don't know if that's incubated or if they changed the signature tempo, but that's pretty complex. I could listen to that riff for hours. I just can't get enough of it. It's so energetic, it's so dynamic, it's so complex, so sexy, so all oh, pumped up. Oh my god. And I can't believe I didn't realize it until now. Jimmy Page was not ahead of his time, but just at his time. Curse of fade out as it should be. What a breath of fresh air this song is. I just I'm loving this album already. Whoa, <laughs> that's a pretty surfer rock drum kit. Woo! Just like its name. Holy shit, mate! I don't usually dance, but this is so good! Oh my god, mate! Oh my god! Such a breath of fresh air. It has all the energy, all the attitude. I love that part. I'm adding it right now. I don't know if it's just me, but this sounds kind of medieval. No, it does sound from the Dark Ages. I want to listen to that story. I just love this gentleman's influences. They went from 100% rock and roll to Dark Ages music, just like nothing. And this is soothing, and it fits the album very well. Now that I listen to this song, to this album, 
I can tell a lot of bands also were influenced by Led Zeppelin, especially metal bands. That was perfect for setting a mood, especially for the next song. You know, this song reminds me to my early days when I was just learning how to play the guitar. And I would bet the house that I'm not the only person who feels like that. Everything fits into place so well. Everything. Ah, we're going back to the rock and roll, babe. Loving all those sudden changes, the time signature in the style like this. This is so psychedelic that what comes after. This is so rock and roll. Looks. Ah, oh, shit, the breakdown again. You know, rubber plants high vocals over giving pages riffs. It was just meant to happen. It was written on stone. Uh, uh, it's ending. Ah, uh, what can I say? Four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, four, five, one. My god! 5, 4 and then 6, 8? These gentlemen were willing to experiment. Wow. <laughs> no sudden changes. Okay, 
Yeah, that was kind of an interlude. was just so refreshing. Mm. Oh my god. Are they closing the album with a banger? I think so. Oh my god, this is so western. The western from the wild west. I'm loving how the drums sound right here. They add a lot of dimension to the song. I see where the Black Kids got their influences from. And Taming Paula. And some other bunch of artists. A breakdown again. This album has been a road trip. Everything I expected, everything I didn't expect. It's so western sometimes, it's so dynamic, it's so epic, it's so cool, so badass. I can picture myself driving in an open highway, not knowing what's next, but not caring at all because I have this music in my cassette tape and I'm just Enjoying the view, listening to those amazing guitar solos, those high vocals, those drums, those bass lines. Holy hell! That was easily the best rock and roll album I've heard in ages. Everything fits perfectly with everything else, every single instrument. I mean, there's not that much of instrumentation on the songs. Sometimes there's only acoustic guitars, sometimes there's only acoustic and a guitar, sometimes there's only bass, guitar and drums and vocals. But such an atmosphere with that, such energy. I get why this album is so legendary. I don't know why I didn't listen to this album before, but now that I have, I'm so glad I did. I'm so pumped up right now and I gotta have it on vinyl because that's how you listen to this record, on vinyl. In the meantime, I'm gonna take a second, a third, maybe a fourth listen, whatever it takes. This record was incredible from the first second of Black Dog. You can listen to the chemistry of the band putting this album together, this amazing collection of songs. As usual, I'm gonna write my further thoughts in the description. This time I have a lot to say. But for now, that's it for today. And thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe, leave a comment, a like, or nothing. I'm just very happy with you sticking around. I'm Tony Whitburn, and I'll see you in the next one.